Another day is coming Whoa, yeah, yeah Slapping away granny and Pitney with impunity Like you are God Almighty But that's not so Oh no I hope when your time come They show you no pity Murder you just like you murder people on the street every day Old Dirty Kana boy The day is coming The day is coming Ring the alarm, another youth gone Open up the scriptures, make we chant another psalm Them dirty boy and I come, them a worship fire Killing all the baby we just born Another song of tribulation I come to sing too much bloodshed, bloodshed Fun the rhythm, them glory, find the gun thing I teach the youth, them gunsling not a bad a ballin', we a want them Old Dirty Kana Boy Your day is coming On the spot news media We got the latest news We don't care about the views We just representin' right Put local news internationally every night On the spot wave that Jamaican flag from left to right Let's get it right Y'all know the type we ain't dealing with the hype We make it take flight Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers What a one A blessed and wonderful Thursday morning To each and every person out there Tuning into On The Spot News Media Now my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side Each and every morning We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator For the preservation of life Because life is indeed the greatest so in the morning, my peeps, I have a story to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. And also, I just want to take the time out to wish members of the diaspora celebrating Thanksgiving today. I don't know. Today, I found an official red rice and roaster day. In the kitchen with the finger licking chicken, turkey, you name it. You don't know how the Jamaicans them go to work when time them in the United States of America. So, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy it to the fullest. Yeah, man. So, anyway, make we get into this morning's story. So my peeps, I'm pretty sure say by now the regular members of Chan Public and members of the diaspora would have understand that whenever on the spot news media plays the old Dutty Kana boy song and gives a picture, that is usually the picture of a person that he vlogged about some time ago. Give them the warning, but of course they never take heed to the warning and get the canning. Yeah man, may I tell you. So another old dirty kind of boy, they has come, spread out like a sheet, no longer among the land of the living. Now on your screen is a old dirty kind of boy that goes by the name of Kirkland Robinson. Now I did a vlog and made mention of this criminal element way over six months ago. This is the vlog presently on your screen. So for those who missed out on watching this vlog, please go back in time and watch this vlog so you can get caught up as to this person presently on your screen right now. When I did that vlog, you know, on the spot news media got a whole lot of negative backlash. Even some misunderstanding which I understand. But nonetheless, a lot of persons deny the fact that Kirkland Robinson was a criminal element plaguing the Clarendon Police Division. 
So let me give you now the circumstances under which Kirkland end up lose theme three points and then I get into the real nitty gritty of the whole story. So newspaper, tabloids, social media, pages all over has a robbery in progress shown on your screen presently. So in this robbery, the police have said that they have launched a manhunt in search of the gunmen who robbed the Bowler supermarket in a place with them called Nashville in Mandeville, Manchester. All of this took place on a Tuesday evening. So the official police report is stating that shortly after 6 p.m., four gunmen held up and robbed the establishment where they stole cash from the supermarket and cellular phones from customers. The gunmen also stole a licensed firearm and ammunition during that robbery. The police has also revealed that the gunmen are from Clarendon. Yeah, man. So head of the Manchester police, Shane McCullough, confirmed that one of the gunmen get a portion to can up can from a licensed firearm holder as they made good their escape from the supermarket. The injured criminal element was however found near the scene suffering from what appears to be a portion to can up can up wounds. He was however taken to the hospital where he was pronounced you know what. So let me get into the real nitty gritty of that knockings and clappings. Then I'm going to enlighten you on who Kirkland Robinson really is. Yeah man. So first, let me play back the video for you. Now, now the criminal element in the red is known in the streets as Yang or Leng. We're not really sure which one of the name them he's affectionately called in the criminal underworld, but I'm pretty sure it is Yang or Leng. Yeah, man. The next one we have the gun in him and is known as Ratty. Mark the names, you know. He's known as Ratty. So for those who can identify these faces, please reach out to the police and give them the necessary information so they can locate these criminal elements and get rid of them one way or the other walk out or chalk out depending upon which one them say yeah man so anyway make we continue on your screen my peeps is a picture of the infamous kirkland robinson in the company of one of his criminal accomplices now Kirkland Robinson is the one in the black jeans and white marina. And as I can see, is a big fat matic that cock up and belly in him waistband. Well on the little bit. Let me zoom it for now so I can see exactly where on the spot news media I talk about. Now that is Kirkland Robinson. So that is enough proof. So this brother here is a criminal element. Now the next man in question is known as Shano. Now Kirkland Robinson is from a place with them called Lovely and in Mapen. Just in close proximity to the Mapen High School, right round a brand's crescent. Shano is also from a neighboring street with them called Juno Crescent. Shano is a knackis and clappis in that area, a well known criminal element. His name was called an a teacher man. We end up losing three pints. His body was found decomposed as they threw gas oil on the body for kind of keep down the scent. But however, the body was found by the police later on. Now, all of that took place over Juno Crescent. So, let me give you some more insight on who is Kirkland Robinson. So Kirkland Robinson, affectionately called Bossed in the streets. And when time I say Bossed, it has no affiliation with the Bossed gang from out of Montego Bay. But this time him get the name Bossed because him actually boss off a man's head. Yeah man may I tell you. So let me get into that seriously right now. An incident did go on over Juno Crescent where an innocent man end up lose him three pints and I write this out the man them recruit him and have him as them shooter 
as I stated earlier, he's not from the Juno Crescent area, but he's what we would call an importee. And is a type of youth that is so desperate where him want to belong to a certain crew. Him desperate enough where he would do just about anything to make a name for himself as a serious Nakis and Clappis. Now, some time ago, Kirkland Robinson would have taken the life of two men that has the same name, Rick. For those who is from that era would definitely remember them two knockings and clappings there. He also clap where a you to them call head. Yeah man me I tell you, hence the name Bossed, because him boss off head head. Wanna get it? Yeah man me I tell you, a dangerous youth. Him go for head bilious brawling miggle deer in a khaki suit pretending to be a schoolboy. But because head never know him, so I saw him get for boss off head head. Yeah man, dangerous youth back in them days whilst him used to trot these streets. Now Kirkland Robinson, as you can see from his photograph, he's a relatively young man, just 26 years of age. So after the robbery of the supermarket, that is Bowler Supermarket in Nashville, Mandeville, him get a portion to can when he was challenged by the likes of fire holder. And of course they made good their escape. But the police got information, got some positive leads and it led them to a nearby wooded area. Yeah man, whole heap of bush bush and all type of things in that little area there off the Spur Tree main road where they discovered Kirkland's lifeless body. And it was positively identified by his mother and also one of the witnesses to that knockings and clappings that took place at the supermarket. Now, Kirkland Cronies is also in possession of a weapon. And the police, them need to get that weapon there off the streets. So again, I'm asking the regular members of Chan Public, if you can positively identify them criminal elements here, as I stated earlier, the one in the red is known as Yang or Leng in the streets. And the one with the strap in him and as you can see presently and on the screen is known as Ratty. Yeah man, Ratty probably are the man we got it. So right now we need the assistance of you, the regular members of Chan Public, to find these criminal elements who is heavily armed and also get a nether strap from that robbery they got away with way over half a million dollars in cash and also that firearm that they got from that brazen daylight robbery so my peeps we definitely need your help and as always reach out to the squad of them Give them the necessary information. It doesn't have to be the Mandeville police if you do not trust them. You can call Wade on a Clarendon. You can call the commissioner's office. You can call also Crime Stop and give them the information. If you do not trust them, link up the JDF HQ and give them the information. If you do still not trust them, link up on the Spot News Media or any like-minded bloggers. Note the term like-minded bloggers. Give the information to any one of us and we will pass it on to the relevant authorities who can definitely make effective change. So my peeps, we definitely are depend on you to find them criminal elements here. Not just to get for them strap, but to get the strap with them take from the lice of firearm holder in that supermarket also. Yeah man. And just for clarification, two licensed firearm holders was in the Bowler supermarket. They robbed one of his licensed firearm and the other licensed firearm holder is the one that challenged them and can up the old dirty corner boy, Kirkland Richards. So even though me know you know I take heed to the warning until you get the canning, but I got to say it just for the formality of it. The youth of them call Yeng or Leng, you know yourself, and the one of them call Ratty. You no need to turn in on yourself and hand over a phone strap, and the strap will not take 
Ah, for the streets, yeah, man, and for all those would be criminal elements where look up to them youth yeah, as role models. Note what took place with Kirkland Robinson on a CO theme end, turnout theme, six feet under Ghana shot eye country land, never to return to the land of the living. So I hope you not take theme death. And mark sleep, yeah, man. And I take sleep and mark that. To now go take film that and mark sleep and step away from a life of crime and violence. So as always, you know, my peeps, them say a word to the wise is definitely sufficient. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.